In this video, we'll factor the equation x squared minus x plus 8 equals 0. And we'll use these steps here to guide our work. So the first thing we want to do is set up a skeleton equation. And that'll look like this here. So this is our skeleton equation. And now we can add the signs into the skeleton equation. So we have this negative 6x. And if the center term is negative, we're going to have two negative signs right in the middle there. So we're just going to put a negative here and here. Once we've done that, we can find the factors for this last term here. So we're looking for the factors of the last term, and they're going to equal the middle term. So the factors of 8, we could have 1 times 8, that equals 8, or we could have 2 times 4, and that's pretty much it. So we can see that 2 times 4, if these are added together, we'll get 6. So we could put a 2 here and the 4 here. It really doesn't matter we put a 4 or a 2 because they're both negative. So if we look at this, negative 4 and negative 2, that adds up to negative 6. So we're pretty sure these are the correct numbers. But we should check our work with the FOIL method. So we'll multiply the first terms. That gives us x squared x times minus 4. That's the outside 4x minus 2 times x. That's minus 2x for the inside. And then the last minus 2 times minus 4. That gives us a positive 8. These two numbers here in the center, minus 4, minus 2, that gives us that minus 6x. So it's the same thing as we have up here. So we know this is correct. Once we know it's correct, we can figure out the numbers that will make this side of the equation 0. And here's how we do that. We say x minus 2 equals 0. And if we add 2 to both sides, x, that's going to equal 2. Over here, x minus 4 equals 0. Add 4 to both sides. x equals 4. So if you put 2 in for x and you do the math, this whole equation now adds up to 0. So that's correct. If you put 4 in for x and you do the math, again, this will all add up to 0. So that's correct. So we know that we've factored this equation, x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0, correctly by checking our work here. This is Dr. B solving the equation x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0 by factoring. Thanks for watching.